set your champion drives for you here on the gray side. Uh, your gray calf champion female was exhibited by Ashley Nettles. Your gray reserve calf champion was Miss Amanda Pounds. Gray junior champion female shown by Garrison Tullis. Kristen Colors was your reserve. And then we just got done with Allison Parks and Caleb Bendy there in the senior division. I'd really thank, like to thank your breed association, both junior and open show, for giving me the right to come in here and look at your cattle and interact with your kids. I'm not going to tell you that this has been easy, but I will tell you that you got my opinion, just the way I see the cattle, whether you like it or not. Those cattle, are, if you don't think that those three look alike, then you and I really disagree. Okay? They're moderate kind of cattle. They got rib and body to them. They're easy fleshing, and in my mind, they're very practical kind of cattle. Now, you junior exhibitors, whether you're in the ring or at home, I'm going to talk to you for just a minute. And I've already got my mind made up. Y'all can relax, chill out, because this deal is cut and dried. It's over. When you leave home or leave the show ring this afternoon and you go back to the room, stop and put an arm around mom and dad or the ag teacher or ever who brought you here because it takes a lot of money to raise your family in this business, okay? This is a competitive game. If you want to play, you got to ante up. And mom and dad and family is what this is all about. It's not whether some old fat man puts you second, third, or fourth in class. It's about the friendships that you build on the road, the things that happen in the barn, some of them we don't want to talk about, but those things are the lasting memories that you'll get out of Junior Nationals. Now, I like your cattle. I think that they have a significant contribution to the southern part of the United States. We don't have very many eared cross cattle in Georgia, and God only knows why. Because as hot and dry as we get, the, these cattle really complement our business. Keep your game going. Breed cattle that have something to them, some body and some substance, and your cattle will always be popular, always be popular. Uh, my roots in this business go back a long way. Uh, some of you know my uncle, uh, a short man with a cigar that, that you called Curly, and uh, Uncle LaRue showed cattle all over the country. Uh, he and my dad showed Brahma cattle together when uh, LaRue worked for J.D. Hudgens, and my dad worked for Coots. Uh, there at uh, Corsicana, uh, and I really believe that your cattle are very functional. When I was your age, we halter broke a bunch of these creatures, four or five hundred head in the summer, and I've got kicked, ran over, and I know what you go through out here. These cattle have unique personalities, and you can tell that these young people have worked with their cattle and the love that they have for the industry. Keep up the faith. Your generation is what's going to make our cattle industries thrive and survive, and it's in really good hands. Congratulations. Give them a good round of applause, and I'll show you the one I like the best. I believe that's the one they call the grand champion gray female right there. That is Miss Allison Parks. It's a graduating senior there, folks. Give her another round of applause. This is a heck of a way to go out, and if I had a bull, I'd scratch him. <laughs> We're bringing our reserve senior champion. That is Mr. Caleb Bendy. And we'll go down to the other end and go with the calf champion. That's shown by Miss Ashley Nettles at your reserve grand champion. Folks, go look back all through the front of this book where Rachel's pulled all the information together. This is a long and illustrious line of folks that these two kids and two more kids here to follow in the red show 
are going to get to follow up against. It's a pretty impressive group. Female shown by Miss Ashley Nettles. Tyler Brown, you are reserve calf champion. Peyton Herzog showed the red junior champion. Peyton showed the red senior champion. Jessica Smith and Jeff Jenkins were the reserve champs in the junior and the senior divisions, respectively. Guys, your red show has been really high quality, especially on the top end, and very uniform. Now, as we look at those cattle out there, I believe we've got a May. You're going to have to help me again. A May heifer on my right. She's just a little over a year. A November heifer in the middle of the lineup. Then how old's your heifer? March. Okay. That's a March, and this is a November. Okay. So if you look at this set of reds, I even moderated them more than I did your gray cattle. Uh, I love those cattle in terms of rib and body. I like the natural rib and turn that they've got to them. Now, I don't want to take anything away from your reserve divisions because one of the best heifers I've seen all day is the red heifer right here on this end, and I beat her just because of the way that she strides out of her front end. Uh, little bitty things, and it's one person's opinion. The, you go home and breed your cattle, and if you keep breeding them like you are right now, this game is going to get a lot better, a lot better. I, I like these cattle really well. I like the way that you've fed them. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to thank the young people here, your junior directors that helped me, the guys that did in the back, all the work in the back, or guys and gals that did all the work back there. Got them coming this way. Uh, I know that it's been a long day. I'm not going to take a lot of your time. Give these exhibitors a good round of applause, and we'll be finished. Your grand champion red female, Ashley Nettles, with the calf champion. And it's Peyton's big heifer. The senior champion will be your reserve grand champion red female. Folks, congratulations <coughs> to Allison Parks, Ashley Nettles, Ashley Nettles, and Peyton Herzog. You stood at the top of a quite a set of females.